Hey everyone, this is Randy from Benham Outdoors. Uh, coming to you today, uh, we're a little bit in maintenance mode because of the Thanksgiving holidays, got a lot of family to go see, but uh, one of the things I didn't want to touch on today is I want to talk to you today about lithium batteries versus conventional AGM or wet cells. So, uh, as many of you know, I got a new boat this year. Um, it's a used boat to me, or, but uh, and uh, I've been very, very happy with it. Um, I did, I have noticed a couple of hiccups, as with all boats, they're, they're all gonna have their own little things that you're gonna have to deal with. But one of the things that recently happened to me was uh, uh, recently fishing out in some strong current and high winds at the same time, I had an early trolling motor battery failure on a tournament day. And the boat that I got came with a 36 volt lithium battery. So I'm gonna show it to you and show you set up here a little bit and then let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of a lithium battery versus a conventional battery or AGMs. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, uh, this is a Lithionics 36 volt battery. I kind of think based on the model number that it's a 65 amp rated 36 volt single battery. Um, so uh, the advantage of this is that you drop a tremendous amount of weight because of the fact that uh, you don't have uh, three batteries in there, you just have one and it's a lithium, so it's a little bit lighter than the other ones. So let's talk about it a little bit. So lithiums have a couple of different advantages over conventional uh, AGM and wet cell batteries. They're maintenance free. They are supposed to last a lot, last a lot longer. Um, you're supposed to be able to recycle charge them somewhere between two and three thousand times depending on the brand and what their recommendations are compared to wet cell or AGM batteries that are going to be somewhere between 500 and 800 uh, uh, recycle charges so uh, they're lighter uh, they're sealed so they're more maintenance free um, and uh, so and they're so they're supposed to last a lot longer but there's a caveat to that, and that's what I'm currently kind of experiencing in, in this boat. Um, I bought the boat used, and like I say, I don't know exactly how old the battery is. I contacted the ma manufacturer, and basically what I got back in response was that all batteries age over time, and they're gonna lose a little bit of their power over the course of a lifetime, which, no one should expect a battery to last forever because it's just not going to. But nevertheless, basically what the guy said to me was that after three years that you can expect a little bit of your uh, power to go down on your battery so it's not going to last as long. Essentially what the guy said to me was is that your battery is not going to last that long after three years. And in the case of the battery that I currently own, when I gave him the model number, he said that model's been discontinued, there's no warranty left on it, and there's nothing that they could do to replace it. So this is a 2019 Cougar bass boat. And so at the very, the worst case scenario is it was built in 2018. So that means that the battery's just a little over three years old max, and they can't warranty it. So. Um, so here we are at a dilemma. What do we do? So here's some of the disadvantages of the lithium batteries. So number one, they are, can be three to four times more expensive than a conventional battery. And so even though that you might lose a lot of weight and you have max charge until it quits, <clears throat> you get no notice whatsoever whenever the battery charge when the battery charge goes below what it's acceptable. That, and that's exactly what happened to me on the water. Um, I'm going along and the battery's functioning fine and then everything quits. This is men come to Ultrex and it, uh, it just stops. Everything shuts off, you're dead in the water. You don't get any kind of warning, it just stops. So that's a huge disadvantage to me for the lithium technology. So anyway, so Let's talk a little bit about what you should, ought to be able to reasonably expect out of a lithium battery. So I looked up the specs on the Ultrex on how many amps that it pulls. Max amps is, it pulls is 52. 
So that means that it's going to pull 52 amps whenever you've got the stat on 10, when, you're, when your speed setting's on 10. So whenever I told this to the manufacturer, they said, you know, what you can reasonably expect is that if the battery like this, and I presume that this is a 65 amp battery because that's what it says in the model number, but he said, if you lose 10 to 15 percent, what you can reasonably expect is that if an amp draw is 52 amps, if you run it on 10 for one hour straight, you will lose power. So essentially, that's what's going to happen. So there's some other lithium batteries on the market that will run that have 80 amp hour batteries. Or if you run a series of three, it's a 100 uh, amp hours that you could run. So at 10, you know, running your trolling motor at 10, fishing in heavy current, if you stayed on it constantly, you could run two hours straight and then that's it. So I discussed this with the battery outfitter guys and, and these are the guys that handle the Pro Guide series batteries. And they were very transparent with me and basically what they said was, is that they agreed with that assessment that Lithium technology is good and you're probably going to get 20 to 30 percent more uh, power over time. But what it really has to do with is the fact that you run full power the whole time instead of this steady dropping on the curve like you see with AGMs or wet cells. So um, anyway, so then you got to ask yourself, is it really worth it? And I think the answer really kind of depends on how much you fish. So if you start thinking about that in terms of recycles, how many times you can recycle your battery and charge it back up. If you fish, let's say 10 times a month, which is a pretty active person fishing, that's gonna be 120 recycles a year that you do. And so if you do that, you ought to reasonably expect that battery to last if it has a 500 uh, recycle rate on it, if it's a if it's a wet cell or AGM, you ought to be able to get three and a half to four years out of that pretty easily. And you would think that you would get over ten with a lithium battery that has two thousand to three thousand refresh cycle. But I'm not sure that you really can count on that. So then the other thing is the warranty on the lithium batteries because they are so expensive. Um, the standard you know, warranty that you get on a wet cell battery is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of a year to 18 months tops. And that's, and the lithium batteries, the, the guys at Battery Outfitters, which they're a pro guide dealer, they have a lithium battery that come, that's come out on the market recently. And they warranty their batteries up to three years. And then from three to five, they will give you 50% the knock off on replacing it. So, um, but still that's only three years and then they'll give you 50%. The problem that I have with it is that you get out on the water and everything's going fine until it's not. And then you're dead in the water and then you're done. So, but anyway, so that's where you got to ask yourself. So, you know, if you're a hardcore person and let's say you fish 20 times in a month, that's that's like the level of a Turing Pro. That's 240 recycles a year. Uh, I think you ought to be able to reasonably expect a, a lithium battery to last you at least five years, but they're only going to warranty it for three. And they, you might have some other companies. Uh, I saw one recently that had an, an amazing 11 year warranty on their lithium battery, but you got to read the fine print. The fine print tells you that after five years, if you meet all the exclusion criteria, what they do is they give you a 30% discount on that battery. That's not really a warranty. Out that that's a and that trust me, I, I think that a five-year warranty on a battery is phenomenal. I really do. But I also think that it's a little disingenuous to say it's an 11 year warranty whenever it's really a five-year warranty if you meet all the exclusion criteria and then 30% discount on a new replacement afterwards. So those are just some things for you to kind of think about. <clears throat> I'm still on the fence about what I'm gonna do. Uh, the lithium batteries are really, really expensive. A 100 amp hour 12 volt battery 
is $900 at Battery Outfitters. So you're looking at putting out $2,700 um, when you can just replace them. You know, you can get AGM batteries as low as $180, $200. So you'd be, you'd be spending, you know, one third of that cost. And, you know, I had another boat and I, I kept it for five and a half years and I've replaced the wet cell batteries in it twice. So I bought two sets of batteries for it. Um, and I think you could probably replace your batteries three or four times for that cost. So it just kind of depends on what you think is really prudent for your fishing lifestyle. So um, I fish about five times a month and I'm pretty active, but I also work for a living and I fish one tournament circuit right now and I do several other fun fishing trips. Um, and so anyway, it's just some things to chew on for lithium technology, what you think is best for you. Um, I'm not knocking lithium necessarily outside of the outrageous cost and for what they tell you, you ought to be able to get out of it for recycles as far as charging and recharging. Um, I don't think the warranties actually match what their specs say. You know, their specs say that it's going to last 10 times longer and you get twice the power, which those are some of the uh, national ads that you'll see. Um, my guys at Battery Outfitters have been extremely transparent with me and they basically don't try to upsell me on lithiums. They just try to make sure that I'm well informed. So I do appreciate that. So uh, I'm hoping to get out this Sunday. Um, I'm hoping to make a couple of more videos. Uh, may do a couple of more maintenance videos here, but we'll see. So if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you soon out on the water. See ya.